Hello out there to you. Let's do this AP micro practice question from Unit 5, the labor markets and the factor markets. Uh, we've got a situation. Basically, we're trying to figure out how many workers to hire in a perfectly competitive environment. Chart looks a little different. It's horizontal instead of vertical. Number of workers is right here. That could also be called L sometimes. Output could be called uh, total output or sometimes it's called total product. Marginal output of shoes, this is sometimes called the marginal product of labor, and then the value of the marginal product, what that is, is the price times the marginal product of labor, or this problem calls it the marginal output of shoes. So uh, we don't have anything there and there because there's nothing to compare it to. So we got to compare one. The first worker, the change in output is seven because we went from zero to seven. Okay. The value of the marginal product would be 7 times the price of shoes, uh, which is 140. That's the value of what that first worker is worth to the company. First worker is worth $140. Second worker, I'm going to go a little faster. It's the difference between 7 and 15. Some people subtract 7 from 15. I like to add. I like to say, hey, what do I have to add to this to get to here? doesn't matter how you do it. You'll get 8 either way. This is 5. This is four, this is two, this is zero, and this is negative two. Yes, it can be negative. That seventh worker, there's something wrong there. Uh, we don't want that worker. Or we need to figure something out in how that worker works. Anyway, so we're going to multiply everything by 20. So this is 160, and this is 100, this is 80, uh, 40, zero and negative 40 okay if it costs the uh, firm 80 dollars per day per worker how many workers are we going to hire we're going to hire workers up until the wage equals the in this case it's the value of the marginal product of labor in some classes they're going to call that the marginal revenue product of labor same thing or equivalent uh, concepts for your AP exam. So uh, you got a couple options. You could just skip right to the chase with the last worker where the value is higher than the wage. Um, or actually they're equal. They're equal right at four. So it's four and it's because that works. Or if you don't want to do that, just take $80 and go, okay, do I want to hire this worker? They bring us $140. Do I hire them? Yes. Do I hire that worker? Yes. Yes, I do hire that worker, and then no, I don't hire that worker, I don't hire that worker, and I don't hire that worker. So it's four because it satisfies that condition. If the price of shoes uh, doubled, uh, how many workers would be hired? So now it would be 40, or you can just multiply this by 2. So that would be 280, 320, 200, 160, uh, 80. And that last one doesn't matter. So now it's five. I'm going to hire five workers because now the value of the marginal product of labor or the marginal revenue product of that fifth worker now equals the wage. If labor costs went up to $100 a day and the price of shoes was $20 each, so we're back to the purple numbers, how many workers would be hired? And it's only three. And that's how to do those types of problems for your AP exam and practice.